okay so first i want to discuss roi and ri uh, with you people now uh, there are four type of centers one is a cost center cost center uh, is responsible for cost revenue center is responsible for maximization of revenue profit center is responsible for maximization of profits and investment center is responsible for maximizing the return on investment because investment center uh, is a one uh, that is completely responsible for profits for revenues and for costs so in investment center uh, there is a high high amount of decentralization so in investment center there is a high amount of decentralization so investment center uh, is a one that we call as divisions as well so we normally call investment center as divisions who are responsible for their own sales purchase marketing finance and their task is to ensure that their investment center is generating maximum returns so in order to assess the performance of investment center uh, we have two measures one is return on investment roi and second we have residual income okay decentralization means that there is high delegation of authority delegation of authority decentralization so in order to assess the investment to perform we have roi and ri let's first start with return on investment so how we work out return on investment is very simple it's profit before interest and tax divided by investment pbit divided by investment multiplied by 100 percent now uh, this is basically return on investment uh, pbit divided by investment multiplied by 100% okay uh, then we have another that is ROI uh, sorry that is RI and RI is what RI is profit before interest and tax and we deduct from this what notional charge on capital from this we deduct notional charge on capital and how do we work out this notional charge on capital so the working of notional charge on capital is simple uh, we use cost of capital and we multiply this with investment so this is how we work out ri i'm sure people are now very much aware of how ri is calculated so it's pbit uh, minus notional charge on capital and the rest you can see in the formula so i'll discuss very quickly what ri indicates and what roi indicates and the advantage and drawbacks as well but i need to move towards a question and see five million dollar points for roi and ri if you remember these five million dollar points you are done with the entire topic if you just keep this in mind remember you are done with the entire topic okay i'll tell you what is notional cost of capital so so if you if you just remember these five things your problem is solved today's 21st of november you're very close to your examination so just remember these five things okay so it says that roi remember roi is better than ri uh, for comparing divisional performance assessment okay for comparing divisional performance assessment means uh, when you are comparing uh, one division uh, to another division so roi is the best measure roi is best listen what i'm saying and learn this what i'm saying okay whatever i'm saying just learn this everyone are you listening what i am saying just learn this so roi is better than ri for comparing divisional performance assessment which means when you need to compare one division to other so roi is best because roi is a relative measure relative measure which means roi provides you answer in percentage so it's a relative measure and it's best so this is the first concept you need to remember second ri is better than roi for manager performance assessment as it reduces dysfunctional behavior okay so when it comes to assessing managers performance now these are two key terms that you need to keep in your mind before your examination one is divisional performance assessment okay one is divisional performance assessment divisional performance assessment means comparing one division to other so for divisional performance roi is best for assessing managers performance ri is best 
because it reduces dysfunctional behavior why because ri uses cost of capital what it uses guys tell me it uses cost of capital it uses cost of capital and cost of capital is the best way to check shareholder wealth what is a cost of capital what is a cost of capital cost of capital means the cost the minimum return of shareholder cost of capital is what the minimum return of shareholder so because ri uses cost of capital which means it considers the minimum return of shareholder and that is why uh, one says that ri is better for assessing managers performance as it reduces dysfunctional behavior okay clear so the first two points i have just explained for divisional performance tell me which is good one come on let's learn very quickly tell me for divisional performance which is good one everyone everyone participate roi for major performance for major performance tell me for major performance which is good one ri yes okay <clears throat> because ri uses what cost of capital which means ri is better than roi for assessing shareholders wealth ri is better than roi for the shareholder wealth because ri uses what cost of capital okay for because let use the cost of capital so let's compare for divisional performance roi or ri to answer is ri for major's performance roi or ri so the answer is ri for shareholder wealth for checking shareholder wealth which is better one it's ri because ri uses what cost of capital okay now <clears throat> both are subject to manipulation you need to keep this in your mind because both uses profit and profit can be manipulated and both uses investment so investment can be manipulated so both are subject to manipulation okay okay rabia just leave that point just leave that and for for the time being last use controllable figures for managers for both ro and ri which what is controllable controllable means what use controllable profits and use controllable investments okay so for 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 assessing for managers when you're calculating roi and ri for managers we have to use what controllable figures you have to use controllable profits you have to use controllable investment now what this means this means all those profits and investments that comes under the control of the manager under the control of the manager or i should say all those investments that have been done by the manager manager should be responsible for that all those profit that have earned because of the manager decision so manager should be responsible for that so for assessing managers for managers we will use what controllable controllable means those that are in the control of the manager okay so remember these 5 million dollar points let's quickly revise before i start with the past paper question which is better for division performance comparison roi which is best for major performance checking ri because it reduces the chances of frauds like dysfunctional behavior for shareholder value assessment which is good ri because it uses cost of capital both are subject to what manipulation profit can be manipulated investments can be manipulated okay for major's performance what figures we have to use of profit and investment we have to use figures what controllable what guys controllable okay now let's move towards 
another past paper question and see what the question requires us to do. So here we are at another past paper question and this is another latest exam question on ROI and RA, the most latest question of ROI and RA and that is sports division. Sports division. Okay. So let's start. Listen, I'll explain you this in a very different way. I'll tell you the examination marking scheme, the examiner comments, and how you can score marks. How you can score easy marks. This is what I'll teach you. I'll teach you how can you score easy marks. This will be my focus here. Okay, so very carefully listen and do understand this and this will make things really easy for you to grip okay let's quickly skim through the first requirement calculate is the verb roi for each of the two divisions okay we are required to work out the roi so the roi is the object okay roi is the object clear So calculate ROI for each of the two divisions for six marks. Okay, I'll tell you a marking scheme as well. Now let's go and read the question. Sports company is a large manufacturing company specializing in the manufacture of a wide range of sports clothing and equipment. Okay. The company has two divisions clothing division that makes clothes and equipment that deals with equipment. Each division operates with little intervention from head office and divisional managers have autonomy which means they have the right to make decisions about long-term investments okay sports company measures performance of its divisions using ROI this means for divisional performance for divisional performance they use ROI and this is what we have learned wow ROI is better than RI for divisional performance get getting guys this is the concept I'm showing you the concept okay calculating calculated using controllable profits and average divisional net assets controllable profits controllable profits and controllable net assets so i did mention here that for managers we have to use what controllable figures wow this is clear see controllable the target roi for each division is 18 percent this is important if division meet or exceed this target divisional managers receive a bonus okay the managers now require a bonus and manager know that if they achieve 18 percent it's a lottery for them last year an investment which was expected to meet target roi last year i let me read it again last year an investment which was expected to meet target roi was rejected by one of the divisional managers okay because it would have reduced the divisions overall roi okay which means the manager rejected an investment uh, and why they rejected an investment because that investment would have reduced the overall roi and if the roi reduces if the roi reduces this means the manager loses the bonus okay now listen 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 million dollar point million dollar point coming up manager rejected the investment just because that investment would have reduced the roi and if the roi goes down that results in a loss of bonus this means manager always take a short term approach are you listening my point short term approach and 
keeping in mind this short termism they they will reject all the investment opportunities that results in loss of bonus because when you set bonus for the manager manager would say okay bonus wow i need this bonus and to achieve this bonus they can do all the illegal things and that illegal thing is dysfunctional behavior superb superb connection this is dysfunctional behavior my friend which means when you set bonuses with roi to achieve roi manager will want to do anything that is legal or illegal to achieve the bonus yeah manipulation okay so as the bonus is based on rois listen 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 guys what i'm saying as the bonus is based on roi so manager will try to achieve the roi targets to get bonus okay this means they might reject they might reject any good investment for example investment in a car let's suppose they might reject any good investment that results in a decrease in the roi now now listen i am telling you a concept here i am telling you a very important concept are you all listening me listen are you all listening me confirm please okay now listen very carefully a very important concept coming up okay for example let me just give you an example which has nothing to do with this scenario right now for example the roi that company needs to maintain is for example 15% okay and there is an investment there is an investment new investment i should say new investment that uh, has a roi of 12% okay uh, maybe i let me use this space the above one there is a division that has a roi of 15% and on this manager are given bonus okay i am telling you what manager has done in this scenario by using some other figures i am just giving you an example there is a new investment and that new investment roi is let's suppose 12% okay manager will think if i accept this 12% investment so this 12% investment is less than my 15% okay and because of this my roi target will not be achieved as my roi target is how much 15% so if manager opts for this new investment having an roi of 12% this will not achieve the target of 15% are you getting my point and if the target of 15% will not be achieved this will result in what loss of bonus loss of bonus are you getting the point so this is what manager will check whether they are getting the bonus or not so they will reject any investment that that roi is less than the target understood come on confirm yes or no understood understood okay now let's bring a twist in the story and what's the twist if for example if for example shareholders require a return of just 10% shareholder requires a return of just 
on all the investment now what do you say should this 12 percent roi investment from shareholder perspective should we accept this or reject this come on tell me from shareholder perspective everyone just give me the answer should we accept this or reject this come on from shareholder perspective i am again repeating from shareholder perspective this should have been accepted or rejected all all everybody should give the answers accepted or rejected from shareholder perspective so from shareholders perspective this should have been accepted accepted because its roi is 12 and shareholder requires how much 10 percent so from shareholders perspective this should have been accepted are you getting my point So let me summarize here. Understand the situation, how you can, how I will make this easy for you to grip in a question. A division ROI is 15. Okay. This is a target to achieve. There is a new investment. Understand this point. There is a new investment, and that investment has an ROI of 12 okay manager will reject because not achieving that 15 percent target and this will result in loss of bonus getting the point now if the shareholder cost of capital the minimum return required by the shareholder is 10 percent is 10 percent so if I compare this ROI with 10%, one would say that it is covering, it is covering the cost, it is covering cost of capital. So should be, so should be what accepted. So should be what accepted for shareholders. So for shareholders. It should be accepted. Everyone agreed with me. Tell me this is the important concept. From shareholder perspective, this should be accepted, but the manager would reject because of bonus. Short term thinking. Are you all getting my point? Are you all getting my point? So from shareholder perspective, this should be rejected. Dysfunctional. My friends, this is the best way to compare and take a decision in a quick matter, in a quick way. Just use these three things and take a decision. Look at the target ROI. Look at the new investment ROI and look at the cost of capital and decide from shareholder perspective this should be accepted but looking at what manager will do manager will reject it dysfunctional behavior dysfunctional behavior are you getting my point so that is why we say listen that is why we say ri is better than roi for manager performance assessment as it reduces dysfunctional ri is better than roi for assessing managers performance because it reduces dysfunctional you know why because ri uses what tell me ri uses what ri uses cost of capital ri uses what cost of capital so you understood the second million dollar point so for assessing the manager performance 
to judge the manager's decision listen to judge the manager's decision it's good to use what ri because ri is close to shareholders as it uses cost of capital okay whereas whereas roi results in manipulation they will try to achieve the bonus if they are assessed on roi so is the million dollar point number 2 clear to all friends come on tell me is this clear okay and i hope you understood this very quick technique to grip the things you compare things you compare things you compare the division roi with the new investment roi and then see the cost of capital okay i hope this is clear now let's come back to the scenario and understand the scene and now we'll get to understand more of the things more clearly so let's see the manager rejected one of the divisional managers sorry roi roi rejected by one of the divisional managers because it would have reduced division over roi consequently sport company is considering introduction of a new measure see how connection how clear connection will be made you now you will understand what it says new measure known as ri in order to discourage see what is written come on tell me in order to discourage what dysfunctional behavior in order to discourage dysfunctional behavior they have introduced ri and you know now you know that ri is better than roi for manager assessment are you okay with me like roi this would be calculated using controllable profits and average division net assets so that is okay we have to use controllable one understanding the concept friends now we have a net profit figure here notes let's see the notes cost of capital is 12% head office recharges all of its cost to two divisions these have been included in the fixed cost this is the fixed cost and amount to 620 for c and 700 for e now do you think this is controllable is this controllable for managers so this is what uncontrollable uncontrollable okay this is uncontrollable and we did so in million dollar points we have to use controllable figures for managers controllable figures so this is uncontrollable okay great now included in the fixed cost are depreciation of 165 and 460 in this for c and e 30% of the depreciation in each division relates to asset controlled but not owned by head office so 30% of the depreciation relates to assets that are controlled by the head office so what do you think this 30% is controllable for manager or uncontrollable quickly tell me controllable or uncontrollable this is uncontrollable yes moving forward division e invested 2 million in plant and machinery at the beginning of the year which is included in the net asset figures above and using reducing balance method to depreciate assets at the beginning of the year which is included in net assets above figure and using balancing up okay division c uses straight line basis and made no significant additions to non current asset it is the policy of both divisions to charge a full year depreciation in the year of acquisition great let's solve calculate roi for each of the two divisions of sports company was 6 marks i'll tell you the marking scheme i will tell you a very good examiner feedback and i'm sure you'll love it <coughs> so it's time to solve right now for that i need uh, let's 
so i hope that today's class is going good i wish i could have four hours to teach and i would have made it so clear uh all the things but unfortunately i don't have four hours i would love to teach you and make things easy for you now part a what are we supposed to work out is roi and that we have to work out for uh, divisions the name of the divisions are what c and division e okay for that you need to request acca c or e okay so net profit so the figures given are what net profit so let's write the net profit figures of 1455 and 3950 so are we supposed to add back things here yeah are we supposed to add back things here yes this head office cost is what i need to add back okay so how much is that 620 700 head office cost this is not controllable anything else depreciation 30% is what i need to add back so how much is the depreciation it's 165 and 640 165 into how much percent i need 30% is uncontrollable okay 30% so 30% is uncontrollable which makes 49500 i need to add back and for the second one it's 640 it's 640 and add back 30% so this makes uh 192 i need to add back here true no i think it's a different amount it's 460 sorry pardon it's 460 and that amount becomes how much 138 this is a very good question i'll discuss the entire marking scheme that examiner uses so it's 460 one and that becomes 138 okay 138 now let's work out the profit controllable and the controllable profit figure is 2124.54788 okay yeah it's useful for long term benefit so this is controllable now let's divide this with the divisional average net assets so for average what we are supposed to do opening plus closing divide by 2 so the figure of closing and opening is given here so let's use these thirteen 
plus 9 divided by 2 makes 11,000. And here it's 24 plus 30 divided by 2 makes 27,000. And the answer is 19.3 and 17.7. Now, friends, six marks. Six marks. One mark for net profit. One mark for adding back head office cost. One mark for depreciation. One mark for controllable profit. One mark for average, one mark for ROI. This, these additional assets have been included in the figure. The question didn't mention that. My friend Yasin, question did mention that it is part of the figures. Six marks. Now, the best part is that if you skipped this working, for example, you will lose one mark. But you will get marks for this, this, even this, this, this. So examiner says there is own figure rule. You know what is own figure rule? Own figure rule means if you have done mistake here, even though your answer of controller profit would go wrong, even your answer of ROI would go wrong, but you will be awarded with one mark here and here as well. This is own figure rule. OFR. If you for if you forgot to add back this, even these two, if you forgot to add back these two, so you'll get one mark for net profit. One mark for average investment, one mark for ROI. Even though your ROIs are wrong, but still you will get mark because you have been deducted one mark here and one mark here. So this is own figure rule. You have been deducted here and the impact, even though the impact will be on the final answer, but you will get mark for the correct use of formula. Okay, correct use of formula. No, this is not con contribution is not controllable profit because you had to add back certain amounts only. So I hope this is clear. The six mark breakup is clear. Let's come to part two. I want you to I want you to find out examinable verb and objects. I'm giving you one minute. Come on, guys. I'm giving you one minute. Read this and tell me how many objects are there your time starts now how many objects are there okay verb is discuss verb what to discuss first object performance of the two divisions this is first object second object including the main reasons why roi results differ for each other second object third object but before that one more verb explain this is another verb what to explain the impact the difference in roi would have on the behavior of major or worst performing division for six marks so friends there are two verbs i'm breaking the requirement this is this is what i believe you should do one is discuss what to discuss two things performance and reason 
Then another verb is explain. What to explain? Impact. Impact. I will write to the point and see I will score six marks. I can score six marks by writing so to the point. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. So, part B. Verb. Discuss. What to discuss? Object. How many? Two. One. Discuss the performance. Second. Tell the main reasons. Second. Explain. What to explain? Impact. On behavior. Okay. Let me just show you how to draft this. Now I'll draft in front of you. First, the first paragraph of your answer will tackle the performance area. So what to write? What to write? What to write? Let's see. Nineteen point three is the ROI of C. Seventeen point seven is the ROI of E. So what to write? How to discuss the performance? Simple compare with target. Simple compare with target. Eighteen percent target. Eighteen percent target. That's it. That's it. You will be awarded with. Almost 1.5 to 2 marks out of 6. Out of 6, 1.5 to 2, 1 .5 to 2 marks will be given for that. What you have to do? I am just writing in bullets. You have to write in paragraph. Division C. ROI 19%. Above. Target. Of 18%. Okay, so C seems better. Division E ROI 17% below target of 18% not achieved. So you have to write this in a paragraph form. And you will be awarded around 1.5 marks for this. That's it. Discuss the performance. You are discussing the performance. You have discussed the performance. It's done. It's a discussion of the performance. Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes. Now, done with the first part. Then tell. The main reasons. Second paragraph. What reasons? Reasons why ROI is different. Why ROI is different? Okay, let's discuss why ROI is different. Why ROI is different? The ROI of C is 19. And the ROI of this is 17.7. .7. Until and unless you answer each and every object, you will not be awarded with marks. I'm telling you. If you waste time explaining too much of this part, you will just be given 1.5 marks, maximum two marks. That's it. Even you explain so good, but you won't get marks. So now, reasons for difference. I'm just writing this in a heading form just for you people. Okay, you don't have to write headings. 
division e roi is low what is the reason what is the reason very simple e invested 2 million in plant and machinery at the beginning of the year which is included and e uses reducing balance method to depreciate assets so it's pretty much clear and that is investment made of 2 million investment made of 2 million plus uses reducing balance basis now you people tell me they charge depreciation in the year of acquisition year of in acquisition they charge okay so because of reducing balance basis their depreciation charge in the first year will be high or low high depreciation using reducing balance basis high depreciation yes which means low profits in first year low profits pretty much simple why roi is low because investment done just imagine investment done formula is what roi formula is profit divided by what investment so profit reduced because of depreciation okay investment increased because of 2 million so profit reduced because of depreciation investment increased because of 2 million so your profit went down your investment increased your roi came down and they use reducing balance basis and reducing balance basis is the one where the charge in the first year is a high charge where charge in the first year is a high charge okay where charge in the first year is a high charge are you getting my point understood okay why division c roi is more we are required to tell the reasons right so let's have a look why because because division c made no investment made no investment and they charge depreciation on a straight line basis oh, very simple c made no investments made no investment and use straight line method as well because in a straight line depreciation is charged equally not like reducing balance where the charge is higher in the first year simple that's it you have to write this in a paragraph and this will give you around 4 to 4.5 marks 4 to 4.5 marks okay so second object was what discuss the reasons and i've done that performance was checked with targets and reasons i have linked with the scenario simple third third impact on the behavior impact 
I'm just writing headings for your ease, okay? Third paragraph. Impact on the behavior. Let's see. Impact. The difference in ROI could have on the behavior of manager of worst performing division. Now, which division is worst performing here? Which division is worst performing? So, worst performing division is division e so what impact will be it's very simple demotivation demotivation loss of bonus what what the manager of division e will be thinking he'll be thinking how stupid i am i made an investment of 2 million plant and machinery and he didn't made any investment wow i am i made the investment for the company betterment and he didn't make the investment and he is enjoying the bonus he is enjoying the bonus and i lost the bonus which means from next time i will also not make an investment wow from next time i will also not make the investment that's it friends are you getting my point so what he'll think what he'll think division e made investment for future of business whereas division c didn't made and got bonus so this means division e would be saying that in future i will not make the investment so division e would think no more investment in future and this will be a loss for the business this will be a loss for the business so my friends your examiner has clearly mentioned that if you will not write on all the elements you will not get marks let me i've shared a very important document uh, as well uh, on the whatsapp group before the class read this document of read the marker's mind <clears throat> read this document it's really useful let me show you and i'm just giving you a confirmation here i'm giving you a confirmation here that see what examiner is saying examiner is saying very clearly system is stucking so much examiner has said very clearly okay now see what it says you see yourself what it says it says it is important to identify all elements of requirements 
the examiner reported that many candidates who ignored the elements object element means objects okay spent too long looking at irrelevant or unnecessary comparisons you have to answer three things if you will not you will not get marks so this is a very good document i would recommend you should read examiner is telling the marking scheme here okay this is the own figure rule i've mentioned now coming back to the question again let's have a look so did you understood how to gain marks in a simple way and this is the technique so have i answered all the things impact discussed reasons discussed performance comparison done so i have answered performance main reasons and the impact simple is it easy guys is it easy so you can get easily 1.5 to 1 mark for this area getting the point every element every object has been covered separately i have answered everything and then you will be given with 6 marks otherwise no marks i break i just broke down the requirement into three pieces answered separately now next part calculate ri calculate ri for each of the two divisions and briefly comment on results of their performance now for this brief comment one mark will be given to you for this brief comment one mark and then the roi calculation is to be performed so three marks for calculation and one mark for briefly comment so friends let's go back to the solution and let's quickly solve for ri part c c and e ri should we take profit controllable yes controllable and what was that profit 2124.54788 less notional charge what is a notional charge an artificial imaginary charge that we place on the division to see artificial notional charge to see whether division will be able to cover the shareholders minimum return or not the imaginary notional charge to see whether division will, will cover the shareholder return or not so this is 11000 investment average investment of 27 and 11000 the same figures i have taken from the above roi working so it's 11000 and what is the cost of capital in the question it's 12% it's 12% Twelve percent. Okay, so this is one three two zero, and for second it's twenty seven thousand. Minimum return of shareholder is twelve percent. Three two four zero. If we deduct this imaginary cost, because the question has stated to you the average figures, my friend, question has stated. So this is the RI. now the ri is positive 804.5 1548 this is positive answer we need to comment for one mark we are getting three marks for calculation one mark for controllable profit wow so great the examiner is so great the examiner is 
he is giving us to use this controllable profit for one mark one for notional charge one for roi sorry ri so the comment would be what both divisions are covering minimum 12% required by shareholders as answer is positive so as the answer is positive both are covering the minimum required return of the shareholder which means both are covering the minimum returns of shareholder so from shareholders perspective the divisions are good this is the beauty about ri as ri uses what cost of capital so that is why ri is very near to shareholders so from shareholders point of view cost is covered getting my point my friends are you all with me these are the million dollar tips you are getting for free <laughs> i hope you are getting my point understood so three marks and one mark for comment i hope this is clear so both the divisions are covering the minimum cost now the last part explain is the verb what to explain advantage drawbacks of using ri this is the object okay this is the object now four marks i am this will be an eye opener for you if you follow my instructions this will be an eye opener for you <clears throat> this will be an eye opener for you and you will be really satisfied so listen what i'm saying listen what i'm saying normally many of our friends ask in the class that can we write in bullets okay let me show you the reality of bullets we are not supposed to write one sentences this is one of the students marking marked script marks this is one of the students marked script where you can see the student my friend student got one mark out of four and see how the answer was written this is the original examiner this is the original script of the student okay see how the answer is written those of those my friends who just want to write in bullets you are not supposed to write this because answer like this will be awarded just one mark now let me explain you how you will get marks so understand this is really important to understand let's go back to my presentation let's take help of the presentation presentation please help ri advantage let's see advantage it has a better correlation with shareholder value do you agree on this do you agree on this it has a better correlation with shareholder value do you agree on this yes because it uses what cost of capital do you agree on this yes 
are you all following me or not or you have left it reduces dysfunctional behavior do you agree on this it reduces dysfunctional behavior which means for assessing managers performance for assessing managers performance we should use roi agreed then it discourages wasteful spending why because <clears throat> managers know that a notional charge of cost of capital will be applied a notional charge they know that their profit they know that their profit should cover this notional charge in order for ri to remain positive in order for ri to remain positive this notional charge should be covered by the profit this means manager should not go for wasteful spending their profit should not be charged with wasteful spending because that profit should cover the notional charge okay so when writing advantages if someone of you wrote like this for example if someone of you wrote like this for example ri discourages wasteful spending you will be given marks or not i am telling you the marking scheme no no marks no marks for such an answer no marks until and unless you respect the verb see like this no marks until and unless you respect the verb and what was the verb do you remember the verb the verb was explain so you have to explain you have to go into the details of that if you will not go into the details it's useless my friends it's useless now now your answer should be explaining this in detail so rather than this what you you should write you should write ri discourages i'm showing you one sample wasteful spending because yeah this because is explanation because in ri notional charge is deducted as a cost as a cost for division so profits should be good enough to cover minimum shareholder cost of capital if you write this you won't get marks if you write this you will get marks even you write two drawbacks two advantages you will get marks this is how you have to write it understood my friends this webinar will be an eye opener for you my entire focus on this webinar is is towards techniques techniques 
so i hope you understood and i did show you the examiner marking scheme right now so nobody can challenge me here because this is the examiner marking scheme now the same way you have to explain about dysfunctional behavior that roi reduces dysfunctional behavior as managers will opt for projects that covers cost of capital rather than focusing on what rois okay explain coming toward drawbacks as i mentioned initially for comparison between divisions for comparison between divisions we do not use ri ri is not good for using division comparison because ri is an absolute measure what absolute measure so ri is not useful for division comparison division comparison is done using what roi so we'll say it is an absolute measure as it does not relates as it does not relates profit with investment as it does not relates profit with investment like roi because roi what what roi does roi relates profit with investment it tells you how much profit you have earned over the investment ri doesn't do that ri does not relates profit with investment so it is not good for comparing divisions as i mentioned initially are you getting the point plus roi is subject to manipulation because it it, it uses profits it uses investments so company can manipulate profits can manipulate investments can manipulate ris friends through understanding the point and this is how i've covered the entire topic as well so this is how you have to explain the things for the marks now coming back to my million dollar points and i just want to clear the screen so revise things with you people to ensure that everything is clearly understood so are we clear about roi is better than ri for divisional performance assessment yes because it's a, it's a relative measure are we clear about ri is better for managers performance than roi because it reduces dysfunctional ri is better than roi for assessing shareholder wealth because it focuses on cost of capital okay for 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 managers we have to use which figure controllable can you see the screen everyone now both are subject to manipulation because of profits and investment now how can one manipulate the things by over stating profits by over stating profits and how one can manipulate the investment by understating the investments okay if you need to improve the results of roi and ri so what you can do overstate profits increase profits your roi and ri both will increase or understate investments understate investments if you understate investment your roi and ri will increase clear my friends is this clear to all of you so i hope i had i have made this clear to all of you and i hope you have learned a lot from the today's session up till now so 5 million dollar points have been covered for roi and ri three four points were covered for financial non-financial nine points done 
are you happy or not i did mention that 12 points if you cover your performance measurement will be in your grip 